Right, to make masaledar batera, you are going to need following ingredients. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, two tablespoons of oil and some lemon juice, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, clove, cardamom, bay leaf and cinnamon. Two medium sliced onions, some green chili, about one or two depending on how much heat you want, two tablespoons of chopped coriander, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. All right, let's right, guys. All right. So, Dr. Salil is going to use one. This is me. Just want to put my hands, hands yeah, in. Yeah, one one spoon, please. So, do, do I start just using my hands right now? Yeah, just wait for a minute. Yeah, I know. This till till we put all the ingredients. <laughs> right. And you can use the other spoon now. So, this is uh, dhania powder, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, dhania how much powder. do you want? Just one, one. Yeah, half of it will be do. That's it. All right, what's next? Well, red chili powder. Most okay. important. Okay. Oh, how, much? Just, so, how much? Let's go quarter, please. Half a lemon or lime. You gotta okay, do this so that's nicely. Half a lemon. And a more, actually. about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, which is sunflower oil here. And these are the batera. Okay, so that's the quail that's been skinned. Let me just show that wow. up to you. That's been skinned. And as you can see, it's completely whole. Well, Have the, you ever done marination? These are, these are the yes, ones. With wow. chicken. A lot these of are the ones with the skin, and those are the ones without skin. Uh, okay. Now, let's show us what you can do with the quail. Yes. I'm mixing it. <laughs> you sure you I don't know, there's no salt in this. Uh, well, is... it's coming soon. Okay, that's coming amazing. soon. Okay. Just just a pinch, Kujbu. It's again to taste, so people, the way people that, like. That's not a pinch, Kujbu. That's like less than a pinch. That's okay. okay. We, we, anyway, it's going to go in well, the yeah. curry and all of that. So. Yeah. Now okay, we know. so how long do we marinate this for? Well, you just marinate, leave it aside for five, ten minutes. Okay. If you have more time on your hand, about an hour will also be very good. Same all right, I think we're done with that. You're done with that, absolutely. Okay, Kushbu. So vegetable now, oil going in again. About three tablespoons I will use this time because we've got slightly more onions than I have okay. mentioned. This we are starting the? We are starting the to sauce. make the sauce Okay. for batera. The batera, the quail sauce. Yeah, is... which has been marinated and kept. I'm right. not going to touch batera still. I'm going to pan fry the batera quickly. The heat's quite high on this one, it's, isn't yes. it? Yes, we'll bring the temperature up. Okay. So yeah, that we can saute the spices. Already. Okay. Yeah. Right, I think the oil is already there. So the yeah. best way to test the oil is to just drop a speck of spice. Yeah. It's ready. So I'm going to add the spices if you don't mind. What did you just put in? Jeera? Jeera, coriander seeds, bay leaf, a few cloves, mm -hmm. and cinnamon. Wow. And this is all according to taste? The all flavor. according to taste. Cardamom. Fresh. Oh my god. Sliced onion. Amazing. Sorted that. Two chilies as well, okay? It's Pinch of so salt nice. so that onions cook in time. This is the newest thing that we've learned. Yes. As soon as the onions come in, we put the pinch of salt so that it cooks faster. It cooks it faster. the water. So once you are done with the whole spices, onions are caramelized. And Before this is like you a tarka. add this is like a tarka. Now this is like again, we're not going to wait for it to be brown. No, we no we have to. Oh, we this one to. we have to it go has to. brown. It has okay. to because the sauce needs to be brown in color. Okay. This is and very then, similar to the dal tarka that we use. Yeah, that, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Some people call it bagar, some people call it tarka, some people yeah, call it chokna. Kushbu, about a teaspoon and a half ginger garlic paste goes in. So we're about done now with brown. Teaspoon and a half, a little more. Yeah. Right. When you're done on that, Salo. I'm done on that when you say boss, it's done. You go on. Half, how much? How much you want? Ah, uh, oh yes. Let's make it nice and spicy. Oh, I don't mind actually. This since, one about two teaspoons. We're only cooking for two people. <laughs> We're the only ones who have to Deciding, it out. yeah. How much? Two teaspoons will do. Two teaspoons. That's yep. pudina powder once again. Then uh, sorry, dhania powder. Oh wow, look at that colour. Tomatoes would go in, just all of tomatoes. Oh, the, all, of all, of all of it. See, all of it. It's sticking to the bottom. That's because of the ginger garlic. Yes. That will always stick to the pan. And now a bit of and water. No, from there's the, no need for water. No, from the tomato. From the tomato, yeah. yeah. What's the next step now? Well, we need to fry the batera. So okay. okay. The so one. we're going to move that to the... See, we pretty much cooked it the way it should be cooked, as at least we hope. And he's actually had a taste and he says... It's perfect, guys. Do we have to great keep cooks. stirring it or is it okay? Yep, we bring this pan here. We can just leave it on the slow heat. Okay. We don't have to stir it. Okay. Really. We'll bring this here. Okay. A little bit of oil in the pan. And then batera needs to be fried on all the sides. Okay. So you can do one at a time if you want, Salud. Here's the tongue. Okay. Oh, wow. Use the tongue. See, I'm just used to using my hands. <laughs> 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 Forgive me. All right, How do you so tell if it's warm enough? Well, well you just bring your hand here. You want to touch it? I like, okay, we can do that. <laughs> Alright, so we take the quail, we put it in. So and it, it sizzles. You can put the other one as well, sir. It's 
I think I put it in too early, but it's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's okay. It's only Kushbe and me eating this, so we'll have raw food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move it. Don't okay. move it. Leave it. Let it get seared nicely. All right. So what it does basically, it seals the meat. Okay. Okay. We have to add a little water to this in a minute. Okay. Then we'll add the quails. Okay. And simmer it for a while. Add about a cup of water. So we get so enough juices. So are we going to increase the... Yeah, we'll just bring it to you know, even though simmer temperature. Atul's directed us. I actually feel like we've cooked this. You have cooked it, indeed. Well, haven't we? You wow. have. You want to take all the credit? No, no, he has. Haven't we cooked it? <laughs> Tell me, he's told us what to do, but we, yes, we've yes. been cooking it. Yes, right, guys. Both the quails go in here, please. Straight there you are, in. the two legs go in there. Let's put them like that. How submissive this quail is looking. Dirty, <laughs> yaar, like <laughs> Aap itna acha khana banate ho, ghabra gaye bechare. My God. Okay, we'll leave that she there. She won't exist after a while. What I'm going to do is just add lots of chopped coriander mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just a pinch of garam masala. This is what I did to prepare this dish, or this is what I got it done by Salil and Kushbu to prepare this dish. Well, we started with quail and we marinated quail with one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, about a teaspoon and a half of coriander powder, and red chili powder, about half a teaspoon or quarter of a teaspoon, depending on how much you like, and about two tablespoons of oil and pinch of salt. Mix it all together and leave it to rest for a good 15 to 20 minutes or one hour if you have that much time. To make the sauce, we started with two tablespoons of oil, added one teaspoon of cumin seeds to saute that, and then followed by cumin, cardamom, cloves, and bay leaves just as much as you want, really speaking, but not too much. And then about two medium sliced onions went in with a pinch of salt. We cooked that till it caramelized. And then I added a teaspoon and a half of ginger garlic paste, sorted that. And then I added powdered spices, which were about a teaspoon each, but again, it's to taste, I would call it. Coriander powder, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. And pinch of salt again went in. And then I followed that with chopped tomatoes. And we cooked tomatoes, everything together till the sauce was formed. Seared the quail nicely and then put it back in the sauce and let it simmer till quail is perfectly cooked, which will be about good 15 to 20 minutes. 